Hey guys, welcome to another Home Lab series video today. In today's video, we'll be showing you how to install Metabase. Metabase is a self-hosted application that you can use to kind of connect to your database and kind of help visualize what you have in your database so that you can, you know, make grass tables, things like that, you know, make it look cool for the company. Um, and yeah, uh, they have a kind of a nice interface to kind of help you make those queries. Or if you're really good with SQL, you can write SQLs and essentially do it there too. So this video is also sponsored by me, myself, and I. So if you enjoy my content, want to sponsor me or send me some free swag, let me know. My email is in the description below. So let's get started, guys. All right. So first thing we will do is log into our server. Um, so I have the server stood up already. Um, we will log in here. So first thing we will need to do is download a Docker. So we'll go config manager, add repo, HTTPS, download docker.com slash Linux CentOS, and then docker ce .repo. So we'll grab the repo from it. We can now yum install docker ce. All right, we'll let that install. While that installs, we will update our DNS. Um, so we got our GitHub repo that has our DNS configuration that we can update here and then it will push out to our DNS server to actually do the full update. So we'll update the serial number and then we'll add meta base in here in a oh just capital A and 172.16.52. So we will add meta base add the commit and we should be set from that. So DNS will populate once the pipeline finishes, but we will look up a metabase here. Um, so it's, you know, business intelligence dashboard kind of help you uh, UX your data. So, you know, make it look cool um, because in database it doesn't look cool, but when you share it out to everyone, you want to make it look cool. You got some graphs, you got some, you know, graphics, you know, the things that make it look like, oh, Hey, dude, your data looks cool, right? Um, so uh, they have a GitHub with here. Um, so you can see what the GitHub looks like. You can see it actually looks pretty good. You get some good coming stats data that you can kind of manipulate and do. Obviously, this depends on what data you have. If you don't, you know, have data on your revenue, it kind of doesn't help, right? So, but hopefully you have data on your revenue if you're doing revenue related things. But um, we will do the quick install um, with the Docker. So, um, set up five minutes, yeah. Um, what we'll do here, um, it was actually on their main page. You can do a Docker run here. So we'll actually just run this here. So let's copy this. Docker should be installed by now. Yep, it is. So we will start Docker and we will enable Docker so that it starts on boot. And then we will run the Docker command. So essentially it'll kick off the metabase um, from the image, it'll open up port 3000 on my computer to point two, port 3000 on the container. So we'll run that, let it run. Um, looks like it's, a, it's not that big. It's less, it looks like less than a gig here. And now we can see that it is up and starting. So we should now be able to go to HTTP meta base dot dragon dot local and 3000. Um, so when it loads, give it a second. It might still be coming up here. Yeah, it's still coming up. All right, so now it's loading. So make decisions with data. No SQL required. Um, but if you're good with SQL, it works too. Um, looks like there's also other integrations that you can do into Slack or other things. So it is loading. Give it a few seconds here. And let's get started. So we'll pick out English. Um, I said We'll pick out English. Um, we'll pick out a language, which will be English. But if you decide you want a different language, you can pick any other language here. Hit next. Um, and then we'll create our user. So we'll just do dragon, 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 dragon dot local. Um, team name is dragon. We'll create a password here and a confirm our password. So we we'll hit next here. So now we can search for, you know, our database. So we, if you have a MySQL, Postgres, SQL Server, Redshift, BigQuery, Snowlake, there's a lot of other options too here. Um, in this case, I don't have a database for it to connect. We're just going to use their sample database um, to kind of give you the things. But um, essentially, you can pick and it's pretty simple in regards to what's the host name, what's the port, database name, username, and password to actually connect to. So um, it's actually pretty, pretty simple. It's like any other database connection thing you want. Um, and then if you want, Metabase to anonymously collect usage events. And I'm going to select no on that one. 
All right, so uh, we can take me to MetaBase. And here we go. So um, if you had a database actually set up, if you go to your browse data, you would be able to see your database. In this case, I didn't set one up and we'll just see the sample database. So the sample database has an account table. Um, you can see, you know, ID, email, first name, last name, plan, so on and so forth. So those are like a lot of things you can, you can see here. Um, so what we'll do here, um, uh, oop, nope. Uh, go to our anal uh, so on here. Um, yeah, we can go to home. So they have some uh, analytics here that you can see based off of their sample database. So we can click one of these. So they created a template here that essentially grabs the data from the sample database and creates these fields. So you can kind of create these fields um, or do whatever you want. So you can we can zoom in on certain things. Um, and, and we can save this if we wanted to save it in a specific way. Um, then you can select all your other things in regards to like, you know, time usage, um, and where you want to go with this. Um, so if you were to, you know, actually create your own, um, you could click here, you can do a SQL query to actually like query your database for, you know, a table. So like select blank from, um, account. What's, what's accounts, you know, accounts, and you can actually run this and actually produce a, in this case, a table, it doesn't actually show much, right? Um, but you can also do like a, a, sorry, a question, which is similar to essentially how you'd be sequencing querying. So I will query from our sample database, I'll query our accounts, and then you can filter, narrow down your answer. So like, um, let's see, we can do um, like source, um, contains Google, we can source contains Google and we'll see um, the sum of the number of seats that contain Google. Um, and then you got, you know, 5,643. So you can make all these dashboards. I'm not very good with, you know, this, this, this type of stuff. Um, I'm not much of an analyst person. Um, I like just doing the work on the back end and just kind of keeping to myself. But if you're trying to, you know, make something fancy from your data to like show your your executive level or whatnot this is pretty nice to be able to just hook up and then do your query um you can obviously do it how i did it, or you can do sql queries um and then create your dashboard from it and then show it off to all your uh shareholders so there you go guys that's how you use metabase a little bit um obviously i'm sure you could do it a lot more than why just demoed but that's how you can get started. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.